Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're back as we continue working on our Wix booking site. And today we're gonna be working on our services page. Just a reminder that you can choose to edit which page you wanna edit first. We're just going for a chronological order for this Wix bookings series. Anyway, let's first go to the pages and menu button. And under site menu, we're going to click on our services. And here we are on our services page. So we're going to edit our page content. For example, I'm going to um, click on this text. And then I'm going to click on create AI text. I'm not the best writer, so I'm going to need the assistance of Wix's AI text generator. So on this small window, we're going to input what we want it, um, what we want to have in our text. So let's do it. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as we give the right idea and it'll help us structure our text better. So I'm going to start inputting my prompt now. And once you finish inputting your prompt, Select your tone of voice over here. It's in default tone, but if you click on it, you'll get the chance to choose which tone you'd like your text to sound like. I'd like it to sound professional, so I'm going to click on save. And now you can let it start generating your text by hitting enter on your keyboard or by clicking this button. And there we go. Once your text has been generated, read it to review it. If you're not happy with it, you have options to choose from below. Click on see more to, of course, see more options. And if you think your um, AI generated text is lacking, then you can go ahead and tweak your input or your prompt and be more specific so that Wix's AI generator will be able to understand better and of course generate better. Anyway, once you're finally happy with your text, you can either click on copy or use text. So I'm going to click on use text and it'll automatically be um, placed over here. Okay, I'm going to close this now. I'm just going to yeah, make it more enthusiastic by adding an exclamation. Okay. Just a reminder also, be careful because when using AI writing assistance, they can generate mistakes or provide inaccurate information. So double check everything and also make sure that the text sticks to your original idea. Okay, next let's talk about about the next page or the next section and that is the services page itself or the services section itself. So I'm going to click on it and then we're going to click on manage services over here. Next this new window will open. Let's wait for it to load up. And you'll be able to see pre-made templates that you can choose from and use. But of course, since you're making your own website, you can start from scratch by clicking this start from scratch button. So here we are. This is where we create our service. So over here, select your service type. Is it an appointment? Is it a class? Or is it a course? So in our case, we're going to be choosing class. Let's move on to the service details. Okay, so let's input our service name over here. So you can give a tagline over here. This is optional. It's a quick intro to your service. As for me, I'm just going to go directly to the description. 
since it's more informative. Okay, so that should be our description. Next, then since this is a class, we're going to be setting a limit to the number of participants. So we're going to set it to 50. By default, it's 50, but you can choose how many participants you want over here. So let's go to the price and payment now. So choose how clients can pay for the services. Can they pay per session? Can they pay with a plan? Can they pay per session or with a plan? So you can choose. So for the price per session, um, you have a, you can choose here, you have fixed price, free, varied prices, or custom price. So I'm just gonna choose fixed price and say, for example, we're going to have it into 2,500. That's about $50. And then payment preferences, enter entire amount online, entire amount in person, entire amount either online or in person, or online deposit and the rest in person. I'd like it to be online since it's very convenient. Now for memberships and packages, so we're gonna connect our first plan. So you haven't connected any of your plans yet. So if you've created a plan, which we will still do in another video, um, you can click on cl connect an existing plan and you'll be able to choose which plan you'd like to link this specific service into. Uh, but if you haven't and you'd like to create a plan now, then click on create new plan. Anyway, we're going to talk about locations now. For the location, if it's a physical one, you can put that over here. But you're going to need to save your progress before you can edit your service locations. But this is not going to be a physical class, but more um, of an online class. So we're going to be choosing video conferencing and we're going to click on add. And of course, you're going to have to save your progress also before you can add video conferencing. Um, we're going to finish this over here. And then once you finish um, inputting all the necessary information over here, then you can click on save and continue to work on video conferencing. So as for our resources, manage resources for your services. Once you create resources types, you can add them here to prevent overbooking. And then of course the schedule, add sessions to get booked. Set when this service is offered and the staff who provide it. So click on add sessions. And of course, you're going to need to save your progress first before you can add sessions. You can also add sessions directly from your calendar. Then images, add a cover image and photo gallery if you want. And for booking preferences, add a booking form, set a policy and accept online bookings. You can expand that if you want to see more. So for booking policy, you can edit the policy over here according to your business or company's policy. Online bookings, you can toggle this on and off. So give clients the ability to book on your site. Booking form, use the default booking form or create a custom form for this service. If you want to um, choose, you can use the default one. If you want to have a customized form, click on custom booking form and then edit to your form over here. So skip this form when clients book on a mobile uh, members app. So if you want to have this on, you can just take this checkbox on, but if not, you can untick this checkbox. And then go ahead and review everything. And you'll be able to see a preview of what your plan looks like over here. So once you're done, go ahead and click on save and save anyways. Okay, so our content development strategy has been saved.
So I'm going to try to view it over here. I'm going to click on edit. And we're going to try working on our um, video conferencing over here. So I'm going to click on add. And then add your business video conferencing account. So connect a Zoom account and generate unique invite links each time. Or you can have a custom link. Add a fixed URL, which will be sent for every booking. So we're going to choose Zoom since it's the most popular option. And let's wait for it to load up. Okay, and then we're going to click on connect so that our Zoom account will be connected to our calendar. So automatically generate unique meeting links, add separate accounts per staff member, and run multiple Zoom sessions at the same time. And click on connect. A new window will open where you'll be asked to sign in your, on your Zoom account. And once you're signed in successfully, you'll be able to successfully connect it. Now let's talk about the others. So let's add a session. So this new window will pop up. Type in your service over here. So as for, no, we're not going to be using a location, but rather a video conferencing. But if your video conferencing option has successfully been linked, then it'll be taken care of here. For staff, you can add a new staff member or have this specific staff member work on it. We're going to click on choose the start time and choose the duration. And if you'd like it to have on repeat, you can choose weekly, every two weeks, every three weeks, or every four weeks. And then you can choose the specific days of the week you'd like it to be on repeat. Once you're done, click on save. And it should be successfully added. Don't forget to always save your progress to make sure that everything is saved and you don't have to redo, redo things all over again. And basically, just repeat the same process over and over again for every services that you offer. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to add some over here. I'm just going to remove the image so that it's uniformed. Okay. So now I'm going to try to see what it looks like. I'm going to exit this page. I mean this window. And over here, we should be able to see our services over here. So we can see the name of our service and if a user or if a visitor wants to know what that service offers, they can click on read more, it'll expand and they'll be able to read the description. They'll be able to see the schedule over here as well as the duration and price. And if they want to book that specific service, they can click on book now. And basically, that's all for today. Next, we're going to be talking about how to uh, manage or add our packages over here. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned as we continue working on our Wix booking site. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. If you need more Wix tutorials, check out our channel and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.